All right, this is gonna be the final video of the day. Uh, we covered some other stuff, and now here we are talking about the Palmetto State Armory 3.5 pound drop-in trigger. I know I did a, call a half-ass review on it whenever I was just at the range, indoors, weather sucked. Uh, my buddy Jim was busy, so I wasn't able to come out here with him that day, uh, or there was something going on in life. I just was like, you know what, uh, I'm gonna go shoot, check out this new trigger, and I had fun with it. And the AR-9, it was able to rock and roll hard, I uh, could use some tuning to be able to slow it down uh, the bolt a little bit probably because I did get some hammer follow, but uh, that was with 9mm. This, uh, I've got it now inside of a 5.56 rifle. Uh, honestly, it's probably going to live in this rifle and stay here because this is their Cold Hammer Forge 18 inch upper 223 wild chamber. Uh, I mean, everything about this, I like it. I did add a BCM charging handle. Uh, I have a sons of liberty uh bolt carrier group for it but i put the palmetto state armory back in it for now because i've got a 20 inch on the way next week i'll do some accuracy testing between the two to see which one may or may not be more accurate compared to the coal hammer forge and a 20 inch regular old you know run of the mill upper so that's uh, neither here nor there today so for now you know this thing here like i said uh i don't remember if i stated or not on the old video it's got, you know, hellacious little pull on it. And then, of course, the reset is just nominal. I mean, I know, I think Coda, Coda Boy, I think uh, it was him. I want to say him or one of these other guys. They had reviewed it. They beat me to it. I was trying to be one of the first ones to get this thing reviewed the way I'm doing it now. Not just at the range. Nobody else was shooting, so I whipped out the cell phone just to give some people something to look at for now. Because, you know, between the, the poor weather we've had down here or whatnot, I'm just now getting out here. So I'm shooting three different videos today. This is video number three. The second one was kind of short, just covering the KS-47, but this video here on this one, the three and a half pound drop-in on my device, it pulls uh, 2.4 pounds on my device. Uh, some guys seem to be pulling even better, but uh, you know, I'm very, very pleased with this. Uh, I cannot get it to rapid fire like a, like a abnormal person does like myself uh, because I was getting hammer follow. Uh, do have a three three buffer tube kit all the way to where I might one day see if I can make this thing bump fire the way it was with the AR9. But the AR9, you saw it. That thing was rocking. I mean, it was hot and fast, and no out of battery detonations were happening. It was just it was loving it, and that was a Colt pattern lower. So I probably will think about one day, probably leave this in here, buy another one, and put that in one of the Glock lowers. Just see what it does with the Glock lower AR9 from PSA as well. Uh, so, but besides that, if you want to know about this thing, this, uh, stock that I found had a little triangle here. I cut that out. PSA drop-in trigger. This is their handguard, you know, Magpul furniture, swapped out the brake. Little $200 one times, uh, Bushnell optic that I've got. Uh, you know, it's not nothing spe spectacular on optic. This is going to get different optic at some point, something that's magnified. But I just threw this on here for testing and, uh, be able to come out here and talk about it, see how it shoots. You know, I mean, we're at, you know, probably about 45 yards back, uh, from the far targets, target on the left, I think it's like 35 yards. So for 1X, just for goobing around, letting y'all see it. I mean, I ain't got no complaints. I'll do some shoot with it, let y'all see how well it follows up. I mean, it's, you know, I was impressed. Uh, you know, I'm sure they're probably just relabeling somebody else's trigger, but for 119 bucks, I cannot complain about this thing. this thing it gets really accurate versus just letting it kind of float around a little bit but uh yeah it's i'm loving it so yeah uh she's uh you know She's working fantastic with this trigger. It had a, what was it, the, the PSA Enhanced, that little nice polished up trigger they have that, uh, you know, it's better than mil spec. And I find if I tweak the springs, get a spring kit and drop in, it's even better. Then I got nothing on this. This thing is just, I mean, honestly, I'm not one that usually gets into the whole drop in trigger game because I usually just modify my own. I'm like, oh, I'm good with four and a half to five pounds, you know. 
I get this thing, it's like three and a half. I'm playing with it. I'm like, wow. Put on the, the trigger measuring device. I'm just like, okay. All right. I'm a, clearly been missing out for a while. I mean, I've felt some nice triggers and just didn't want to justify the cash because I don't shoot for accuracy. Well, this is probably going to be something I might maybe try to go hog hunting. I don't know. Uh, so a good trigger that goes with accuracy. Uh, I've impressed myself sometimes pulling the trigger on even this KS-47s with uh, their you know factory enhanced triggers that they came with and pulled one inch with the KS-47, the 16 inch variant, at the end of 18 shot string. So I'm like, all right, how, you know, might have went under MOA if I had a better trigger. I don't know. But uh, like I said, I have no complaints out of this thing so far. I highly suggest it. I mean, like I say, you can see the follow-up on it's just outstanding. Five yards back smoking that fresh oil off of her you know that thing i'm not even pulling in that tight i'm you know doing my thing pulling in a little bit just uh letting this little 1x drop back on site and it's just right there uh you know i i can tell you with the mill spec i definitely wouldn't have been doing so good uh, i would have been missing <laughs> missing a lot more just because it's it's more reset it's more pull you know your body is naturally doing its thing you know i'm not one of those i don't shoot competition i don't try to go for accuracy so I mean, this thing here is phenomenal compared to every other regular old trigger I've dropped in. It has to have a trigger pin and a hammer pin that, you know, locks everything in, unless you just like to use anti-walk for no reason. Uh, these, they do come with the anti-walk. Uh, they are included with it. And, man, I had this in the AR-9. I went to take it out, and it fights you. So it's, it's, it is set up in there to lock in. It's not going to just fall out on you. Don't, I don't think you'll have to, you know, out of your own peace of mind being a responsible owner of a firearm yeah it wouldn't hurt to check once in a while but they're not going to fall out like the way they're designed I'd, I'd be impressed if you had one of those screws walk out of one of these uh because like i said i had to like I had to make it pull out of the the insert and uh that was a lot of confidence in that because i thought it was going to be like the other ones i've had and used on other friends that you know if you don't put loctite on it or whatever it'll walk out i knew i didn't really care because i was like oh it's not going to stand this ar9 so i threw it in there you know, it stayed in there for about three weeks, pulled out, put it into this lower, and I'm like, okay. All right, I was like, this thing is not going to just fall out on me. So they did, you know, use some damn good anti-walk pins in there just to make sure that thing doesn't have that issue. But uh, yeah, aside from that, man, she's getting hot. She's nice and warm, but I'm going to keep on shooting because I'm enjoying it. I said, it's good stuff. good a little uh 12 inch wide target is uh just taking everything i'm throwing at it and you know it's that's pretty dang good for me i'm not uh i don't usually have them do that well at all like uh i can get kind of close i did take one of the triggers got it down to four and a half pounds for one of the psa enhanced triggers that's now in the glock dedicated lower and uh i was gonna bring it forgot even forgot my spare extractor for the 760 by 39 that uh is the psa extractor that was the last video if you see that you'll see why that's kind of funny but, uh, yeah, I mean, I highly suggest it, uh, $120, uh, there, you're going to have the guys going to say, well, man, for 130, I can get a gazelle or this and that, yada, yada, but whatever. Uh, if you're like me and you don't care about all that because, okay, I can get a cheap break or I can leave my A2 flash hider on one of these. I don't like having the same thing on everything. So for me, it's like, okay, I got a gazelle on this. I got a, you know. PSA and that, you know, LaRue, whatever. I mean, you've got options. So this is a solid, damn good option for the price, like cut and dry, man. Uh, I mean, I'm going to buy another one uh, to mix in with some other stuff, and it's probably going to be for my 308 uh, AR-10 because uh, I am going to be trying to use that for hog hunting, and uh, that thing's supposed to have the full power hammer spring in it, so it should ignite whatever. Now, for the sake of all that's holy, I will have to take one of these at some point in time. And see if I can't melt the table here. That barrel is hot. Let's see. No, all right, there we go. All right, PSA. You know, I'm going to probably take one, drop it in here. This uh, is the KS-47 lower. Uh, I want to see how, if that thing will ignite the, the steel case. Uh, it was. I don't remember which one I used it on. I tried using an old AR-47. This is back whenever uh, 
the Gen 2 PS PSA did not have the KS47 out yet, and the Gen 2, the Gen 1 was discontinued or on hold rather till they got everything right. Uh, so I will have to take one, drop it in the Gen 2. Like I said I've got these guys here. I've got you know, a couple of them. I'm gonna drop in there see how it works with steel case because I would like to have one in one of these maybe. We'll see uh, that or something similar to it. But I'm just getting to where I am. The older I get, the more I'm getting spooled to triggers. So sit tight. If if you're like me and you want to know, feel free to comment. Let me know. Hey. If you can, drop one in, one of the KS-47s, see if that thing will detonate that steel case or not. I asked the AR-47 guys, uh, that the groups I'm in, and the, I want to say they said required minimum of five, five and a half pounds or something, you know, for this and that trigger, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, if that thing is full power, it's supposed to work for 308, you know, I'm willing to try it, you know. Uh, I just need to know if you guys are like, yeah, hell yeah, uh, just to make a video. Okay, that's all I need, you know. A couple guys say, hey, make a video on it, let me know. I'll do it, you know, just because people want to know and see how it functions. Otherwise, I'm going to put it in there. I'll just post a line. Yeah, it works great, <laughs> you know, So, because I usually have some other stuff I do want to cover. But if I show the interest, I'll do it because I got some hand loading stuff I want to go over next uh, uh, whenever I can. I forget some accuracy testing done for some 10 millimeter stuff. So I always have projects lined up and I need to know something like that. If y'all are interested in, you know, I'll get in there, shoot, you know, put it together, shoot the film for it, you know, let you guys see. Yeah, he's not just saying it works. You can see he's out there beating the crap on it and, uh, you know, see if it keeps on rolling. But this girl is hot right now. Man. Yeah. She's uh she's nice and warm. So as cool as these hand guards look, yeah, they don't do you a whole lot of favors uh, a lot of times, as you can tell. That was uh I don't know, was that only was that only a hundred rounds? One, two, three. Yeah man, that was only ninety rounds. I guess uh yeah, I think the seven sixty by thirty nine KS forty seven usually lets me get four mags into it, but you know, whatever. Can't remember if I was shooting this thing not long ago. I know I did the, uh, the KS-47 last, so she's warm. But, uh, like I said, I uh, kind of thought about bringing my trigger measuring device, let you guys see it on film, but whatever. I mean, you take my word for it. Uh, it usually pulls 7.5 on a mil spec. It pulled 2.4 on this. It pulled, uh, this is the Fostec Echo 2. It pulls 4.5 uh, on it, I believe. Uh, and the Fostec uh, Echo Sport, man, I think pulled like 7.5 to eight pounds almost maxed out the damn tool man so i did the review on that so you guys know but uh yeah like i said i mean little instance center watch me follow up shots real quick with this here psa uh yeah man i'm all thumbs up about it dude uh like i said this is probably staying in here it's this is probably officially it's it's home it's stuck and situated it ain't going nowhere as far as i uh, my opinion goes with it i'm don't see me moving it but i might get another one drop it in try to say if you guys want to see the ar9 for sure the glock lower or you know, I know the AR9, I'll probably get it to go full speed, you know, like a bump fire deal, like I usually do with some of the 9 millimeter pistol, cal pistol caliber carbines. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's worth it. Uh, like I said, if you want something different so you don't have the same damn trigger and everything, but you want a nice trigger that's reasonably priced, there it is, man. Uh, Chad himself told me he's been putting these in a bunch of his stuff, and I can tell for good reason. Reset's awesome. Uh, only thing I take out of this is when I'm sitting here shooting, I'm sitting here firing, I'll go back and watch the videos. I'm like, I feel like I'm a turd on the trigger. You know, I mean, I don't feel like I'm that fast. Because I see some guys that are just lighting it quick. I'm like, I want to be like those guys. But, you know, I don't shoot competition. I don't have to. I just like to be better. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys like what you saw. Get a little extra taste of it. I know you like, uh, if you're like me, you like to search and find a couple other options versus one or two to get people's opinions on it. But, yeah, definitely. Uh, you got the money you want a nice trigger drop it 120 try to catch them when they're free shipping you know uh, if they have it free shipping great if not I'm about to eat that little low extra shipping cost just to get one but yes i definitely suggest it second firearm it's been in problem free the only issues i've had with this at all was you know i could outrun it with my r9 a little bit when i was being stupid with it but normal pulling the trigger like a normal human being would it's not an issue so all right we'll catch you guys next time hopefully next week i have some accuracy testing thanks for tuning in and sorry it's been a couple weeks but I'm back for now until we uh, get some more crappy weather, all right?